You have to think long term. You have to think uh, beyond four or eight years in office because whatever is uh, imagined that we can do in Oklahoma for rail travel, passenger rail service, is going to be down the road because of uh, the length of time that it takes to acquire right of ways to be able to build a rail and, and certainly to be able to find out how to acquire the cost the funds to uh, recover the cost. But I think Oklahoma is well positioned. As Lieutenant Governor, I have written letters in support of the mayors of the cities and towns up and down I-35 north of Oklahoma City who have worked with their counterparts in Kansas in trying to show that there's enough support to bring rail service and connect where the Heartland Flyer uh, ends up to where uh, the uh, railway goes across, Amtrak goes across Kansas. I think it's in Florida, I can't remember. But the, the conversation has been about how much each state would need to pay, be responsible for, to make that connection. The greatest number of miles actually is in the state of Kansas. But every mayor, as I recall, up and down the Interstate 35 corridor, wrote letters of support and asked our state leaders to be supportive of their efforts, knowing we were down the road to do that. At the same time, to be able to have, we travel the Turner Turnpike quite a bit, and to be able to think of taking automobiles off of that road in the future and being able to create some kind of high-speed rail to be able to serve those two large economic engines that serve the state of Oklahoma is forward thinking and does need to be part of a plan that sets Oklahoma up for, what, for being a 21st century state. We need to start that planning now. I think the leaders of both cities now and in the future have to be part of that planning process. As governor, I would certainly continue to try to get the expertise that uh, the Department of Transportation is finally putting rail service on their uh, long range plan. It's nothing that happens overnight. We need to work with uh, state bond advisor and others who are involved in financing to be able to figure out when is an appropriate time for Oklahoma to be involved. Recent issues of the Wired magazine talk about where communities are that are ready for high-speed rail service. They don't talk about Oklahoma. But you know what? They never talked about Oklahoma getting an NBA team a few years ago either. We talked about it ourselves. We said we wanted to do it as a state. And when we put our minds to it, we know that we can accomplish whatever it is we want. This is long-range planning for the state of Oklahoma, and it must be part of our future.